Hey guys, Dark Recycling FPV. I'm actually getting ready to do a third frame now. Uh, I've got about 20 to go, so we're going to do some live builds here for the sake of, uh, of showing you guys basically how to build these frames because there are no instructions that came from the manufacturers on these frames. And since it's not a frame that I make, uh, I thought it'd be easier to probably just go ahead and build it uh, with you guys live. And then this way we can um, kind of get things sorted out. Okay, so that being said, uh, I've got the frame actually sitting here, so let me do a split screen here real quick. There we go. Now this is going to be a real cool frame. This is the um, this is the TCMM. Uh, this is basically called the American Flag frame. It's a 220 frame. Uh, let me see what else we got on it. I think that's pretty much all it is. It's a 220 frame. Uh, you'll find it on our website. I'll put the link here on the video just a little bit. I'm just going to go ahead and open this up, and we're going to get to building it real quickly so you guys can see what it looks like. And uh, and uh, this frame is going to be $29.99. So let me go ahead and get this going. All right, here's what we're gonna do. So let's go ahead and lay the parts out. Now it does come, I'm, I'm not putting these on it right now, but it does come with these uh, uh, soft landing pads, okay? I'm just not gonna put them on just yet because that's not part of the build as far as uh, whether you need those or not, that's up to you. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this going. So here are the arms right here. Here's your bottom plate. Here's the uh, top plate. And we're gonna get the calipers so they can tell you the actual uh, thickness of each thing. And then here's our standoffs and so forth. So let's get started with uh, thickness here. So on the top plate itself, it looks like we're going to be looking at around two millimeters. Okay, it's 1.97 and uh, we can crank on this a little bit and make it go the way we need, but it's about two millimeters. Uh, bottom plate is going to be about, uh, about three millimeters thick. Okay, a little over. Uh, arms are going to be about uh, five, a little over five and a half millimeters thick. And a, uh, the secure plate for the arm is going to be about one and a half millimeters thick, a little over. And then the camera mount plates are going to be about one and a half as well. All right. So that gives you an idea of where we're at with that. And then we've got our standoffs right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour those here. And these are going to be black standoffs. And we've got our screws and other things right here. So I'm going to go ahead and put those right here. Okay. And then kind of keep everything sorted out. And then we've got some more standoffs. And these would actually be used for our... Um, flight controllers would have you that we're going to put so I'm just going to and, and some fasteners so I'm just going to use that I guess I'll end up keeping this frame built I think I'm actually going to do a live build with this entire frame uh, probably tomorrow so I'm just going to assemble it and then keep it like that all right so let's get going and see what we've got all right so on screws uh, we're going to usually have about three different sizes um, so I'm just going to see if I can verify that we have three I know we've got at least two so I tell you what for right now let's just focus on we've got the large screws right here okay and you should have a minimum of most likely eight, uh, but you may have more, okay? Uh, so let's see how we're gonna lay this out. <clears throat> the way we know this is gonna go is that the openings are gonna sit something like this. And the reason I say, I assume this is how it's gonna be is because uh, it would make sense for me to see the camera go up here, and then this is gonna be the angle for the camera. All right, so let's see if we can get that to work. Uh, and by the looks of this, it does look like this is actually going to slide inside. Now, how it's going to do that, I don't know yet. We're about to figure that out. All right, so let me just verify how we do to do everything here. And let me see. Give me one second. Uh, what do I got here? Okay, perfect. All right, so actually, this is going to be kind of weird. Um, but uh, go with me on this one. Trust me, this is actually it's going to come out pretty cool. It's just going to be a little weird to build. But it's actually going to go like this, believe it or not. All right, with this piece going on the bottom for your camera, okay? So just to get started with that, uh, so we can get that out of the way, it's it's going to fit because what you what's hard to see, but it's right here, is actually the slots. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. Okay, so there's the slots here where these are going to press in, right? So we're going to go ahead and put that in just like that. And again, we're going to put this one in just like this. Okay? That's how that'll sit. And then we can zoom back out so we can get going with the rest of this build. <clears throat> Excuse me, with the rest of the build. There we go. Let's get rid of this desk. It's getting dirty. Okay, so um, that's how that would go. Now, I'm not, I'm not sure that really needs to be done first. I just wanted to kind of make sure I understood how they wanted that to get done. Uh, and so we have the arms, and we will start uh, this way. So let me see. The best way I want to do this one is going to We've got our two plates here. So our other plate right here. And if you look at the way this frame is done, um, you are going to have a couple options here. And so let me get this laid out the way I want it. It's going to go just like this, okay? And I'm just going to put this upside down because it's easy. I think it's easier to see uh, uh, see the patterns when we do it like this, okay? So bear with me a sec. Let me make sure I get this laid out properly. Just like that, okay? And then, all right, 
what we're going to do is we are going to, bear with me. Oh, this is interesting, so let me make sure I get this exactly. Oh, my voice is disappearing. Okay, so let's start with something like that. All right, and we know this X will go like this. And I'm gonna just take a, one of these long screws right here and go through the top, just like that. And I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna lay this arm just like this. And then I'm gonna put the X. Now, I was looking at putting the X like this, but it actually goes lengthwise, right? So that's where I got a little lost here. So I'm gonna put the first one in right there, okay? And I assume, looking at these standoffs, we have one, two, let me see these real quick. So one, two, uh, three, four. Okay, so my guess is you're gonna have one, two, three, and usually you'd have them right around here. So I don't know if they're gonna have them in the arms or not, but let's just go ahead and start fastening these arms. Let's just kind of just try to get this to hold a little bit so we don't have to be all these pieces together. You'll see what I mean in just a second here. So let's put one in, get that angled properly. Okay, there we go. And since we are gonna assume we're gonna run a 30-30 board, I'm gonna go ahead Put this other one in here right now. There we go. Okay, and that's where these standoffs would go. And remember, for all these, I'm using the long screws, okay? So we've got one, two, and then we'll have the third one that'll go down right here. I'm not using a, um, a board like that. And so we know that the standoff's not gonna go here because this is where our 30 by 30 board's gonna go. So our standoffs are gonna go on the outside holes right here that are gonna line up, which we can do in just a second. Um, but for right now, I just kinda wanna get these arms put in to make sure that we get them done right. So let's turn this one and go this room, just like that. And again, we're gonna use the long screws. Uh, I'm gonna go through, on the, on the edge one, I keep realizing we need to go down. So we can put the um, fastener, uh, the locking fastener on this. So just give me a second. Let me kind of wiggle that through. There it is. So let's put this fastener on. Okay. I'm going to take another long screw. And we're going to set it through here, which is where the 3030 would mount for the board. And I'm just going to use another standoff for that. One of these nylon five millimeter standoffs. I believe that's about five millimeters. Okay. And then we'll go to the third arm. Turn that in this way. I wonder if I can just alter the pattern around a little bit. Let's see if I go this route. Give me a little flag look down there because, there, oh no, there's flags up here too. Okay, all right, well, no problem then. We'll go either way. Let's just put that here. Take another long screw. Send it from the top. Holy moly, come on. There we go. Okay. And then let's do another one coming from the bottom here so we can put the 30-30 mount right here. Okay, and then we got one more arm left, which will be this one. Put those straight like that. And again, we'll take the long screw, go straight down, put the locking fastener on it right here. Oops, and then now we need to get some more screws out of here. So we'll take another long screw, go straight up through the 30-30 section right here. Put our final nylon mount. And now we can go ahead and put our um, nylon fasteners on here so that we don't lose them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and knock that out real quick. Okay, and there's only four of them, so it doesn't take very long. Well, <laughs> it 
doesn't take long if you're holy moly hold on let's try it like that there we go do one more all right i'm just gonna leave those on there. this way they're easy to find okay now we still have four more holes left that we got to close out so i'm going to go in right here and i'm going to put my fastener back on right and this time you want to push these through like this this way the board will clear should be set so let's go one two so so far if you've noticed the screws that come with this kit or with this frame we're only using the long ones right now okay so just make sure that you understand that you have the other ones which you'll be using in just a little bit but those will be used to go into the standoffs and so forth and to also um, put the camera mount together all right so we've got one more tall one we should have one more here here it is gotta send that through the top down there you go we'll use one more fastener oops okay so here's what we've got i'm going to get this sucker on here hold on a second all right there it is okay this is the bottom view so you've got one two three four five six seven eight fasteners See if you can see that. I'll zoom in here just a little bit. Get your eight fasteners, and then you've got your four screws that are going up so that you can put your flight controller on. Then you've got your eight screws, long, all long, that are going down that you put onto your fasteners, okay? So that's pretty much what it should look like. There you go. Okay, and those, that's using all long screws, okay? Now let me shrink the screen back down. And we'll continue. Okay, so now we've got our standoffs and everything else. So let's, we know where the standoffs are going. And I believe all the screws that are left are all the same length. So right now it doesn't really matter. Let's just go ahead and get started putting our standoffs on. So we'll start with the front. And you can just hand, you can just put these on and hand tighten it for now. So I'll go right here. If I can stop dropping the screws. There we go. One second, I think. I gotta see if these are all the same size here. Yeah, they are. They just seem smaller. That's all right. All right, so let me just finish up here. I'm almost done anyway. Okay, so let me fasten this one. All right. We got a couple more. Which we're gonna go right here. There we go, okay? So now you've got your eight standoff, your eight screws in there, okay? And now, before we put the top plate on, I need to show you what you're gonna do with this. So here's your plates here for your camera, okay? What you need to do is most of the time we look at them going uh, top to bottom, right? But this is a narrow, low frame. So what's actually gonna happen is these are gonna actually sit with this piece going straight down, okay? So that's gonna go actually under the frame and you're gonna take your standoff. So you have one that one big standoff, like a barbell standoff. So we're gonna turn that, and we're gonna screw that into this piece. All right. Pretty 
pretty sure I can do this without having to have it mounted first or sticking out of the frame like this, but I'm just gonna do this so that I can, I'll make it harder on myself, I guess. Let me see. I think I must be able to do one side and feed it through like that. Yep, yeah, perfect. All right, well, I'll just tighten one side down then because this thing's gonna, this thing's gonna be a pain to try to do. So go ahead and put your standoff on your uh, barbell or dumbbell, I think they call it barbell or dumbbell standoff, whatever it is, but it's kind of with the little ridges there. So feed that through and go ahead and um, just like that, okay? I guess I gotta put the other side on too while it's sitting outside of it. That's fine, let's see if I could do it like this first. Ah, I'll make it easy on myself again. Let's try this. Just try to assemble it outside of the frame and then put it in. Okay, all right, there we go. Now, that is supposed to fit. Ah, I knew it. Can't fit it like that with the screw head in there, so it won't fit through that opening. So let's go ahead and just take this off. I knew it was too good to be true. I'll just do one. I'll leave it fastened to one side, put it through, and then just carefully get the other side in there. Big deal. All right, so let's go ahead and do that again. And this is gonna go through, just like that. And then this one is gonna come over. We're gonna put it in there. It's just a pain to try to do it like this with everything without it falling. Actually, no, that, that worked, Never mind. Just need to put it on the table, I guess. So there's that, okay? So now we've got that camera housing right there. And then all we're gonna do is put the top plate on now. And it's gonna slide in, all these slots are gonna slide into place. There you go, just like that, and it's very solid. I mean, it's it's super lean, huh? it's, it's a real lean frame, uh, real narrow. So now I'm just gonna use the remainder of the screws and you're done. Now we can just bolt it up. Almost finished. All right, last screw. And there it is. What's cool is they did give us, and I know I said I wasn't gonna put these on, but they did give us, I just noticed now that because the arms are thinner, they actually gave us thinner uh, foam pads. Now, I didn't even know they made them thinner, but they did, they do, and they gave them to us, which I thought was pretty cool. So let's go ahead and just kind of put them on here, guesstimate where you think it would be. Uh, I have no, uh, let me see. That's weird. Actually, I'm gonna hold off because that is just not sticking the way it's supposed to. Let me get that out of here. Um, I've got the wider ones down here, but I'm not sure I'm gonna like these, but let me see. Yeah, I guess it'll work. Let me just go ahead and do that. One. Two. All right, and there you go. So there is the new American flag uh, frame. It's a 220 millimeter. Uh, and I'll tell you what, let me, let me grab something real quick. I wanna show you guys something. Actually going to be building with this so I'm going to do this kit whoops 
I just kicks them on the ground. Okay, so check this out. So this is gonna be the build that we do. Um, I'll do this live build tomorrow. Uh, this can be really neat. So for this frame, I'm gonna use the HAKRC uh, ESC, the 4-in-1 ESC, which really sweet looking ESC. Uh, as a matter of fact, go ahead and open this frame up just to see how it's gonna fit. Anyway, so the video part of this for the frame build is done. So if you guys uh, needed the instructions on how to build your frame, you can pretty much stop now. It's finished, but I am going to just show, if you wanted to see what it's gonna look like, I'm gonna show you guys kinda what we're gonna be building tomorrow. Tell you what, if you need a solder mat, I'm going to tell you right now. Go to my website, go to cyclonefugi.com and check out this solder mat. I mean, the fact that I can put the screws down, it's got little placeholders for everything. And some of these placeholders are magnetic, by the way. So, like um, over here, right? Uh, right here. These are magnetic, right? So, I mean, it holds on to the screw. I'm hitting it with my finger. As you can see, if I stand it up, I think it'll stand up, but I don't know. Let's see? Uh, yeah, there you go. Okay, that's the magnetic section, and there's a couple of them in this area. That, uh, so it's really cool. I would definitely recommend getting, if you're going to do this, yourself a good soldering kit and a good mat. This is the best mat I've used ever. Very excited about it. All right, so I'm going to leave that part there, but let me show you what we're going to be working with. So I'm going to take off uh, the fasteners real quick, the nylon fasteners, so you can see how this is all supposed to fit. And we can plan for tomorrow's build. All right. So, put the fasteners over here. And then there's our ESC and here's our flight controller. Now this is F4 and I got both the F4 and the F7 in. Um, so let's check this out. So this is the first one, right? And uh, really impressed with this. So let me just see how I want this to fit though. So it's gonna sit up like that. And these are, these already come uh, adapted for each other. So, let me see, I don't have my glasses on. That doesn't help. Okay, so we know that this should go like this. Perfect. And that's going to sit on here. Let me make sure these are tightened down first before I do any of that. Okay, one, two, three. There it is. Okay. Then we can go ahead and place this on here. This is your ESC. And then we will, I don't know, do they give us another? Oh, they do. Look at that. All right. So we got another standoff. Now this comes with a flight controller, so this is pretty cool. And so let me put that on here. One. The only thing I just realized is that I might need to change the screws out now because I realize now that I'm using a different screw. Oh, we'll, we'll figure it out. Let me see what they give us in this package here. Just in case. Okay, and then we'll put one more. Sweet. All right, so there's that setup right there, right? And then our flight controller, which has the arrows pointing this way. So we can do that. And let's see if we can get any of these. I know this screw belongs to the uh, frame, but I just want to see if it'll fit. If we even have enough space to screw it down in there. And it looks like I'm gonna need a different, uh, all right. So I'll come up with the solution for this one because part of it is that this screw needs to go all the way through. And it's not going to with that, so let me see. I may have the solution sitting right here.
Yes, we're gonna go, I'd say we just go three millimeters. I don't think we gotta go five millimeters high. I don't know yet though, we'll see. So let's back this off a little bit. See if we can adjust this some. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove these. All right. I'm gonna take these ones, they, uh, these nylon spacers uh, do not allow screws to pass through, and therefore they're gonna be too short for what I need. I mean, they're good for most uh, builds, but this build is a different kind, and the 401 ESC sits a little bit taller. So let me just remove the screws here. And these are the ones that came with the frame, but you'll usually get some with your flight controller, which is what we got here. So you, you, know, you can sub them out because you're gonna need something that gets a little bit taller like that. And I'm gonna see if a three millimeter uh, spacer will be sufficient. So let me just check that out. So let's put this here. Another three millimeter. Take that one out. There we go. Another three millimeter. And then our last one. Oops. There it is. And we'll put our last three millimeter, which is right here. Let's see how close that is for that board to touch. The three millimeter does it. It's per we're we're perfect then. Um, it's very close. I mean, it's very close. But I'm afraid. I think I'm just gonna get a one millimeter spacer and just add that to give it a little extra push because I am not convinced that it's gonna be good without it. So let me see what we got here. All right. You just put these on. These will just make it safer. And I know this wasn't part of the video, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this part just because I'm curious to see how this frame's gonna look. All right, so now this should clear it with no issues at all. Oh yeah, that's perfect. But we still earned some good space here, so that's great. So then, look at that. All right, now the flight controller needs a little bit of work. So I'm going to put another space, one. Sorry, let me do it like this. One, two, three, and four. All right, and then we'll see if it'll let me use fasteners that came with it. Now they're going to be too, uh, it's not going to work. So we'll go with If I do this, it'll work. I'm going to try to put one of the fasteners on here. There we go. There's 
one. I tell you what, there's very little room left there. Okay, perfect. Then we'll do two. We'll come over here. Do this one. spacers off if I can. Perfect. Okay, so there's our ESC. Looks to be clearing everything without any issues, so that's good. Just tighten those screws down when I get time. We'll put these over here. Get them out of my way. Okay, now, for the flight controller, let's see if I add this. Now, put the flight controller on. That's way too much cap. All right. So, let's try this. That's going to be way too much cap. Tell you what, these screws are the right length. So now I gotta find a new size screw. So let's do that. Let me see. It's gotta be just long enough. So let me measure one. I'm gonna take this one out and see what the length is here. If I can figure out what one is and maybe give it an extra, oh I don't know, five millimeters or so. So this, this one is going to be you see, this is all the stuff that goes on you guys don't usually see. Uh, all right, so this screw, about 22 millimeters. So let's see if I can get a, there's a 25 and there's a 30. So we'll just experiment here. So I'm gonna put the 25 in, okay. Still gonna put down this fastener. This will give me an idea if the 25 is long enough. And you'll see in just a second. Because all I need is for it to stick just a little bit above the 
flight controller. So this is the front of our quad. And then with the 25, ah, you see? And there it is. So with the 25, because I can put the VTX back here. But now with the 25, I can, um, where is my, Now we're going to have this working perfectly. There we go. Yep, and that looks great. So now we're going to try the rest of them. Let's see. Make sure that 25 works perfect, okay? Okay, so there's the other 25. Now we got two more to go. Funny thing is, I think I only have 125 left. I mean, I've got 30,000 screws behind me, but I haven't gone through the pins yet. But let me just get this stubborn one out. That's not, that's a 25, that's too small. Let me see what I got here. Nah, they just have the wrong size here. Let me see if I can grab a 30 or 25 from somewhere. the same but I got them. Let's see. I think. Alright, give me one second. I'm gonna go grab these two screws so we can finish this build. Oh no wait I need a 25. Hmm. 25 is over here. Okay. Yep. I forgot I had a thousand of these sitting. In the bag right there. I think this is the 25. Yep, that's it. Perfect. So go ahead and fasten this down. Take this last one off.
Okay. See, usually I do this stuff ahead of time, obviously, so that you guys don't have to deal with it. But these just came in today. Everything. The boards, everything. And so, kind of haven't had a chance to. So I figured, well, hell, if we're going to build this, we might as well go ahead and do that part now. Well, unfortunately, it means you guys have to watch some of that. But, hey, that's what we do. Okay. All right, let's put this tool here so it quits rolling back. Let me move all these things out of the way. Okay, now, here's our setup. And then here comes our flight controller. And it's gonna fit right here like this. There's an ample amount of room to clear it, but I'm gonna give it a small bump just because on an impact, I don't want that board to compress or anything into the ESC case. So let's just give it a one millimeter bump right there. As you can see now, you see our cables are going to slide in. Uh, let's see. Hey, is it like this? You can barely see. Yeah, there we go. That's that's nice. That fits really well, actually. So we can put that wire into there if we want. It shouldn't be a problem. Or we can just leave it out like this. All right. I think this screw is actually the shortest one by accident. Hmm. Oh, no, it's not. I see what happened. Bear with me a second. Somehow this one got on over a one millimeter. It's reversed. Now if I could leave it like that, it'd be the same height, but it just would bother me to know that the spacer's on the bottom. So let me just go ahead and make a quick change here. See, there's this. It's right here. If I can get that out. Ah, it's not worth it. Forget it. Oh, oh, well, wait. Maybe if I do it like that. There we go. There we go. <sighs> See? All the stuff you guys get to watch. All right, so let's put this back on. Controller over. Everything's tucked in and looks neat. Oh, that's gonna be a nice build, guys. Super nice build. This screw that doesn't add up. So I'm just going to grab a different one. I see it's about a millimeter off. So either it's a bad screw, bad cut screw, bad measured screw, or uh, it made its way into the wrong bin. But I don't know of one that's, well, I guess I've had a 24 millimeter. It's not a number I carry usually. I go 22, 25, and 30. So I'm not sure where that came from. But for the sake of getting this build done and keeping our sanity, I'm just going to change it out because I can't have inconsistent sizes. So here we go. Finally. Peace. Okay. So then we can put the fasteners on like this. Put one. For the sake of just looking at this, I don't need to even worry about. All right, so let's put the top back on now. And you see an idea here. You get the idea. Look at that, with a narrow fit like that, man, that's really nice. So what I figure I'll do is I'll put the BTX in the back. And this sucker's going to be sleek and clean with a, what was that? I think these are the new 55 amps, I believe. Let me see. Uh, 65 amp max, 50 amp normal. Uh, and that's going to be on a uh, three to six S lipo. So yeah, that's good. 
BL Heli 32. Oh yeah, this is gonna be great. Okay, so it uh, looks like we're pretty good here. Um, we will do the build tomorrow, but this is gonna be the stack that we use, which I think looks really nice. Okay, all right guys, well, that was the uh, build. Sorry, that took a lot longer than I expected because we were gonna do that board. I just wanted to see what it was like. Uh, all right, so if you have any questions, feel free to uh, email me at targetcyclonefpv.com. Please make sure to follow us on Facebook and subscribe to us on YouTube. Both of these very important stuff, right? Um, and other than that, guys, take uh, a little thank you here for your time. Remember, guys, please spend time with your family. Uh, you never know how much time you have left, okay? So make the most of it while you can. Drones will be here for a long time, but you never know. Not everybody else will. Other than that, God bless, guys. Enjoy your holidays. Merry Christmas to everybody, and uh, talk to you soon. See you later. Bye.